Once again, it's Dan One Fire and welcome to the show. Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today, we're checking out another cool place in Colombo. This is called Cafe. It's just under Republic and if you've been here, you'll definitely know how good the food is. And this time around on the show, I have someone who has been dazzling the stages for a long time and she is the ever so popular Natasha Ratnayi. As we check out Caffeine, I have a musician and a performing artist who has been in the business, relevant and trending for the longest time and that's a great, great achievement. Natasha. That makes me really old. <laughs> <laughs> but you started very young. Yes. To be I, fair about you. Yes, I did. Yeah. Like, uh, I started when I was 16. There you go. And so. I was in school at that time, okay, just to <laughs> say. Uh, but I will just tell you, when I first met Natasha, uh, she was modeling for the Satya Paul uh, fashion show here right. at Gorfis Hotel and I thought she was absolutely gorgeous because her lips were literally like glittering on the runway. And I complimented you and you looked at me like this weird child. <laughs> I was so young, I was like, you look so pretty. <laughs> but it was a fabulous show. From there, that was in 2007. Oh, wow. Yeah. 2007? Seven. That's that was a while back. Very long time ago. That was a ago. while back. All right. So how are you doing? Uh, just a little background story about Natasha. Today, this show is happening under very <laughs> crucial circumstances. <laughs> this girl fell and she <laughs> sprained her ankle. She has twisted ligaments, but yet she made it. We are grateful for that. Thank you for having me. But you look fab. That's oh, the best part. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, how is business today? I think right now we don't have really have work because oh. of the whole coronavirus and uh, I don't even know when things will start you know uh, for every musician every uh, creative person um, I, I sincerely hope that it will be sooner than later uh, I miss my work mm. um, I do I mean other than the whole singing performing on stage I do the influencing and you know um, uh, working on my original stuff and that happens, yeah. but uh, not really, uh, you know, I, I really miss my work, in yeah. other words. Now, I wanted to ask you a hypothetical question. If you had a bad day like today with a sprained ankle, and if you were supposed to get on stage, what would you do? I would have had to, because, I mean, once you've given your word... And they've advertised... And, and uh, they, yeah, they, they've advertised, you just, there is, show must go on. That's that's how it is, right? Have you had any strange? Thankfully, not touch wood. <laughs> touch wood. Touch wood. Uh, I no, I haven't actually. But this is a very unfortunate situation. We usually go for a um, morning run, mm. and uh, I think today was a rather weird day. I think I fell and um, I fainted after that because I was in so much pain. Um, and hence, why I called you and yes. I said, and I was know, like, no, hmm. it's too late. Everything is yeah, right I know. Here. And uh, so. Well, I'm glad I'm here. No, thanks. And, and we have to say hi to Damit because that poor man 
has been very very <laughs> kind in supporting he is just saying no this is true <laughs> yeah never mind so too bad now we have mentioned everything he's a very supportive husband no he's definitely there very you supportive. go that's what we want Extremely to highlight supportive. here supportive. definitely all right so just to tell you what we have here we have peri peri chicken and we have some uh, so called tacos right no sure I think these are nachos. Nachos. Or, or <laughs> I get very confused. Tacos. 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 There you go. There you go. <laughs> Lots of problems on this show. <laughs> um, so, what would you like to try first? This show is about uh, food and people. Oh, okay. So you can uh, eat whatever you like. I'll just have that. Oh, okay. I'll whatever get it closer is. to you because yeah. you are a bit of a wounded soldier, you know, today. This is true. Yeah. So I'll get it. So I you. just ha I'm the diva today. Yeah, you are the diva. I have to give my place over to you. <laughs> All right. So uh, you have had some good times, yep. bad times in this industry. It's a tough industry to be in when you are exposed. Mostly good. Uh, yeah. But I think when you say when you say bad, I think it's the criticism that you get. Correct. But I don't really give too much attention to that because that's irrelevant to me. How do you handle it? Because you know, not everyone handles it the way you handle it. Mm. Uh, sometimes I've seen you calling out people who have like said such. cruel remarks no you have to call them out yeah and tell me how has it been like you know i think initially uh initially i'm going to keep this in my hand and eat it probably later on because <laughs> because you have to talk yes. no i will eat while you talk okay, okay. no problem uh, -huh. uh i think initially i was really hurt mm. uh because you're growing up mm. and you don't really know you know your you get emotional for the the mildest things but as you grow older and you you become wiser and you realize that they're criticizing me because they have unhealed uh parts in them that needs attention yeah and uh, mostly a lot of people uh, criticize them because they're not happy with themselves mm. and uh so that's that's how i look at it and um but for you to shift to that mindset because i'm asking you because right now the youth faces a lot of um impact from social media because you know social media is such a free access place where people put up pictures they put up whatever and mm. it, some people are very open some are not but as much as the world is becoming more exposed to yeah. all of this it's also becoming very people are believing the words that they see there and they are personally blaming themselves oh why am i not thin like that why am i not fair like that these issues are now an occurring problem and even as as sri lanka we are facing this how did you shift before we get into the break tell me how did you make your mind realize no i will be strong i think there was a spiritual awakening that happened when i was going through hormonal imbalances and uh, how i shifted was i empowered myself i was anyway a very uh, i was always a leader mm. i always wanted to uh motivate people inspire people and yes when you're doing for the first time you get a lot of slack True. you know so uh but i'm i'm glad i did it so i paved the way for the rest to follow yeah. and but the thing about i think people what people should understand is they should not um compare because we are unique as we are you are unique as danu i am unique as natasha and there is there's only one of us in this entire universe and if we don't embrace who we are uh we become just a you know um uh, uh imitation of something so something. it's okay to be inspired and to you know take that inspiration and add your flavor to it but the the most important thing you need to understand is there's no one like you you don't have to be or say or even speak a certain way or behave a certain way or act a certain way this is who you are and you you need to accept you first Brilliant. in all yeah on that note let's get into a break when we do come back we're going to speak more about um the issues in terms of you know what we all face i feel a bit plumpy today i don't feel a bit plumpy today there's so much to it and she has been an advocate for such information about you know you need to understand your body first that's the most important thing we'll speak more because everyone knows that she sings everyone knows she performs but let's come to know a little bit more on the unknown five when we do come back
wanted to speak to you about, you know, how different bodies react to different things. Yeah. And uh, you were very open about the fact that, yeah, okay, fine. I gained weight. Hmm. So what is the problem about it? And there is so much to it. And someone like you who has always worked out, you have always gone to the gym, you have always, like, hello, you used to, like, walk in a bikini on the ramp, and you used to have, like, such a body. So as someone who has always been very figure conscious, maintain, mm. it's not that you wanted to like go and no. yeah. But there is always a medical side to it, like a your physical side to it. So everyone goes through hormonal changes yeah. after you hit a certain age. And it stems from the lifestyle, the foods that we eat, the you know, sometimes we're so unconscious, even yeah, though so. we think that we're doing, you know, what's right for us and we're eating a healthy diet. And back in the day, eating bread was actually even even dietitians were actually yeah. recommending. Two slices is a good exactly. amount for you to eat. But yeah. now it's been proven that you know uh, wheat, mm. there's gluten sens sensitivities, and people have all kinds of uh, you know um, it, it it comes under uh, inflammation. Right. So dairy, gluten, sugar is uh, is considered inflammatory uh, foods. So we didn't know that back in the day. I yeah. mean and. And we are, you know, when we are in our twenties, we think we can eat anything, and we yeah. look a certain way, right? But when you when you hit thirty, uh, your your hormones change. Now, as a performing artist, you created some big headlines, and you, I think as we spoke in the first segment, you paved the way, because we always expected, like we 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 are always cool to see J Lo sing out a song in any form, and we're like. Wow, so good. Absolutely. But why is it so hard for us to accept a local artist? I think it's our conditioning. I think it's the some some or other, it's our pride. You know, it, there is there is a certain pride and uh, how do I say it? Uh, a stigma that comes with it. Mm. So when it's your own, uh, you know, yeah, she's okay. She's she's local. But if someone went international. It's like this need to always validate yourself, you know. I mean, you need to appreciate talent for what it is. You don't have to, uh, you know, if you don't like something, don't say anything. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have something positive to say, say it. But uh, a lot of people uh, go on this train of uh, negativity. You know, they are constantly spewing hate. And that comes from, like I said, mm. they are dealing with... Uh, Their own problems. Un yeah. You don't see happy people uh, tarnishing uh, people's mm. reputation, right? You only see people who are un unhappy who are spewing hate or uh, saying a negative comment or sometimes there is something that you want that they, they don't have. So it's jealousy, enviousness and it, it and the, the funny thing about that is, I mean, I believe in energy and so when you, you, when you uh, put out that negative energy, you, you also Take it back and it's get like, it back it's a in karma. many ways. It's, it's like yeah. a boor boomerang, right? So a lot of people don't understand that there is a there is a cause and effect. Mm. So uh, always, I, I would advise people to you don't know their circumstances, you don't know their lifestyles, you don't know what they're going through. Always be kind, and we are stingy to love. We are stingy with our love and forgive uh, and giving, and forgiving as well. You know, I remember we had a, a mm. small tiff back in the day, and uh, we had a misunderstanding of and uh, you know I, I said didn't know I was hurt because I considered you a friend and but we sorted it out yeah. and you I know, think we're, we're mature time, about it I think with time we always grow and we see life in a different way and a different Absolutely. light now when we do come back I want to speak to Natasha a little bit about how she broke that you know we always have like the English market then you have the Sinhala market then you have the Tamil market that's how all the advertisers and everyone speak to us but she sort of broke it across she went across the island and uh, she was picked up for a few body parts. We will speak more about it when we do come back. How did she handle it and how did she see the positive side to it on the other side? In conversation with Natasha and we are checking out this fabulous place and it's my favourite segment, dessert. <laughs> um, I'm, I have such a big heart, I have given the brownie to her. <laughs> this is like an apple fritter. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm just going to have just yeah, yeah. So actually, a little I mean, you bit. Have two, like, two you can have the entire thing there. because I, you know, yeah. I don't really have sh anything sugar now. You know ah, that right, my right. diet is a little different. Yeah. 
So then, that's fine. I'll be I'll be happy to finish it for you as like twenty years ago or not twenty years ago. I think fifteen years ago when we used to go out and we used to fight yeah. for ice cream. Yeah. And now those yeah, days now are gone. Now those days. So at that gone. point, like I'm putting away can. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Yes. <laughs> now, something that I wanted to speak to Natasha about. She became a sensation in our country. Like let's say ten years ago, on a different level, mm. everyone knew knew you for your performance and all, but your booty was a story of the town. Oh Everyone wanted a bite of that. <laughs> that sounded really bad. <laughs> but here's the thing, even the whole booty story yeah. stemmed from my hormones. Are you? <laughs> yeah. If you, I, I, I kid you not, because when I was going through hormonal imbalances, the the areas that actually started, <laughs> you know, yeah, getting. Uh, noted noted yeah was actually uh, my my hips yeah and so what i did was i started going to the gym i started working out and at that time my my trainers i think they saw sort of like potential. a body yeah like, potential and bodybuild the material yeah. <laughs> all they did was give me the squat, the squat. yeah so and um, the best part is international people pay money for these things you're born with it you should flog I'm trying it. to get rid of it now. Oh, can you take <laughs> mine <laughs> I have too much of it have you seen my I gravity mean, is really like yeah, holding mine me down too. <laughs> I think uh, we'll, we'll give it we'll yeah, give it to we'll someone else we'll have to donate to yeah, those who yeah, don't have yeah. so tell me about this uh, this booty went across like people from like I wasn't expecting yeah. anything and then I don't know who said I looked like Kim Kardashian Kim K, yeah I I just want to actually <laughs> strangle that person because I mean that was it. Yeah. Uh, Kim K paid for it. I got it naturally. Not even <laughs> that. I mean, it's just that. I mean, you know, you want to be known for your identity. Yeah. And you don't want to be compared to anyone yeah, else. True. Yes, she's a celebrity. She's all big you know, time news. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, kudos to her. But I I mean, I'm really happy with myself. You know, Kim K watches my show. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Hi Kim. <laughs> Hi Kim. <laughs> <laughs> we are pals like that. Yeah, yeah. mine too. Oh yeah, great. So she's my uh, she's my cousin. Oh ah, wow, you're yeah. a bloodline related. Yes. That's amazing. No wonder that. <laughs> oh, never mind. So now tell me. Um, so now, how did you take it? Because at one time, every time it was I annoying. <laughs> because you enter some place and they're they're not looking at your face. They're looking at. Your Then you oh, said it already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really annoying, mm. and uh, you go to a shopping mall mm. or you go to a place, and the minute they recognize your face, uh, they wait till mm. I pass, and mm. they're like checking your <laughs> booty. Yeah, May they just want maybe a curiosity whether it's true or not. And some people have sent me messages. Ah, oh, how much did you pay for your? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I'm going through a problem here. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> And uh, I read the funniest thing. They had uh, said I had paid two hundred thousand to get my butt, you know, is it so implants. Cheap? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What did you put cement in there? <laughs> exactly. But so, see, this is where I want to speak about your husband. You need to have a very broad-minded person, someone who accepts you because he sees you beyond the person on stage. He's seen me when I was nothing, when I was nobody. Yeah. You know. So, so how does that? that relationship has worked throughout i don't think i would have achieved even caught of the things i've achieved today if not for him uh because i think it takes a really strong man, man. to be uh of course 1000 percent absolutely right. because uh, a lot of people have asked him i mean how do you deal with it because you know people are criticizing you know, you there's I mean, good words and bad words yeah, but but he's always been con consistent and he's always been there he's always been he encourages me uh, even when i was going through the hormonal imbalances he you know he, he's like listen this is a this is a phase you're going to you're going to go out of it uh let's work out now we work out together mm, eat this is true yeah uh Scott we work out together mm. uh this is why we jogged and i you know sprained yeah, my ankle today yeah. uh but it takes it it It's important to be with a partner who knows you inside out and who accepts you for who you are and who you are at home because yeah. that's the you. Yeah. Like what we see is the performance we have seen you on stage with you know that's what you do that's like somebody going to work. Absolutely. That's your job and but what he is it and that's amazing. I've always said it even when I had a show with her many moons ago I've told her that I have not had a one of my shows for how many years now. And even then 
he was there with you the the first show we did with you was, was with him and yeah. uh, deepa remember? yes and so he was there and i told him and i said it takes a lot to be a supportive husband and also to have someone who is proud of the fact that he's other half or better half but i don't half. think he sees me as a celebrity he doesn't even like he sees me as natasha yeah he sees me as you know his wife a pain natasha yes yeah, so he doesn't really care you know and people when now when i show him all these uh, you know comments or whatever oh. he's like yeah, so, so sometimes it's really funny so we sit and laugh well. but um it's just a part and parcel of our you know lifestyle so really yeah Well, I'm so happy that you made it. I'm so grateful that you came, even limping <laughs> all the way here. Uh, thank you so very much. As always, I'm so proud of what you are. I'm so sort of proud of all what you have achieved and what you have given Sri Lanka as an identity internationally. And you will always hold that record for being picked up and to be seen an artist as Sri Lanka was noted for the for our talent, which is amazing. Thank you, Dano. On that note, I'm going to say goodbye. I I want to say the oh, same yeah. thing about you. Uh, I'm proud of you. Thanks. Of all the things you've been I know you you've been through a lot and uh, you've um, I'm I'm really proud of you honestly Thanks, even Kim K was telling me the same thing the other day <laughs> I'll I'll give I'll give her your love <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note we need to wrap things up on the show we will see you with another brilliant episode so if you're walking by this place if you want some good food or great brownies or dessert or, oh yeah whatever it is just check them out they're amazing until we see you soon you have a great fun as well mm-hmm.